There's the ducks. Hi. Look at the duckies. And the swans. That water looks, is it supposed to be like that? Like some br funny colour. Anyway. So that's where we've travelled here. There's a duck there. We'll give the duck a pep talk. Charging point. Am I parked in the way of it? How does it fucking work? So is it that bit there? So it's got a plug. That side. Hmm. I sort of am parked in the way of it, am I? Actually. Yeah. But nobody's gonna fucking. Could be a problem, eh? If, if two people come up to charge their cars up and my car's in the way. So what we'll do is we'll move the car. Okay? Right? Right, let's get going with this. We've got 85% battery. We've got to get around this dam. See all the ducks, it's amazing, isn't it? We need to get away from the ducks up here looking. They'll be there when we get back. So I hope this, I hope the battery's gonna last. I think it should. 80% 80 uh, So this is the way we're going this time The other day, look at that Look at that fantastic uh, sky out there uh, Look how fantastic that is Looking over Fourth River Valley down there uh, So we have to walk around this way because we're parked over there. Uh, so I suppose the, the thing is, if I was to be slow, and then the battery will go. Yeah, I would say it would be. So we get it here. Yeah. Sports Tash MG3 and what is that? A Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. <clears throat> I always think these bollards are little giant penises, but oh, horses! Horses! Wow! See, you always see things when you go on these walks. Look at beautiful horses. Wow. Hmm. <clears throat> I've got the wrong footwear on. That's the building site boots, steel toe caps which 
technically I got them for nothing because I bought a load of car boot stuff and they were in it. Um, I do have walking boots which cost £130. And they, this because I hadn't planned this walk. Problem. I hadn't planned it. Oh, look how beautiful that looks. Wow. I love that island. <coughs> look at it. Amazing. <sighs> yes. Look at that, I'd love to go out there. What is that? Oh, it's that struggle already. Oh, it looks like he's got a rain. I suppose you shouldn't always assume that people don't want to be filmed, but I would say the majority of people probably don't. Wouldn't want to be, but I don't really know for sure. Uh, been quite a bit of rain, as you can see. So I have to go. I have to go into Glasgow on Wednesday. What was that splashing around? It's definitely been a, a it's quite muddy compared to what it was the other day. Look at that, that's some vision that in it, look at that. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more water. A lot of rain water. I think my legs are starting to struggle already. Problem just started. This maybe is going to be a step too far. I think I'm hallucinating. Sometimes when I see like this could be part of our ancient past. Um, when I see like a log in the the water, there's a duck. I think it's some kind of creature, like a reptile or something, that's going to cause me harm. So today we haven't brought the cable for charging the phone up and we haven't brought the proper footwear. Uh, what else have we not brought? Anyway, when I get back to the car I'll just be going home. There's a big pizza in the fridge it's going to be getting eaten oh my god legs tightening up maybe this is too much doing this after doing it uh, I think it was I can't remember was it Thursday or Wednesday you did it oh. 
Oh, Jesus. Oh. It's not, you know what? It's not like a huge walk. Honestly, it's not. I mean, it's a finger walk. But it's not like it's some miles or anything like that. I think it's three miles. Tractor. It's probably a bit more difficult without being so muddy. That's what it normally would be. Should be able to see through the, uh, the farmer doing the farming stuff. I can't even see what that is. The tractor's doing. Tree caught my eye. The fallen ones. The fallen. Can't even see anything. Just assume there must be a field up behind them trees. And there's uh, farming stuff going on. So when I think how the tyrannical forces are upon us, you know, it's probably always been like that. Isn't that beautiful? green plants growing in the in the water like that it's absolutely gorgeous there's a little gate birds nesting so you got the fields up there there's the house up there as well Maybe I should get invest in a gimbal or something or try and get a bit more. Well, you've got a farm up there. I'll look it up and I'll find out what the farm's called. Uh, Beautiful scenery. Love that loch. I love that um, island. I like to go in there. It's actually quite. It's actually bigger than what it looks. Can you see it from this angle? It's quite. If it was just like a tiny little island, but it's no. I wonder what it's like on there. It's probably, probably on. I don't know if they go across and do a hint it. Like the people that manage the. 
what is it against a reservoir? It's not a loch. Loch. It's difficult for English people to say loch. But because I'm Scottish, I can say it quite easily. Even though I'm sort of like loch. 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 It's not a loch because it's it's man made. There must have been something there before. You know. Like a little loch. Uh, gar Why is it called Gart Morn? Uh, is that some of the Victorian sort of name it got? Probably. Are you bored yet? Oh, I apologise if you are, but the video is staying on until either the battery goes flat. <sighs> Or I collapse in a heap. Feeling quite warm actually. The water. Look at that, that's lovely. I don't know why my right leg's tightening up. I think it's probably just that I should have left it a few days before I did this. After doing anti clockwise uh, three days ago. I certainly haven't touched any booze or anything to make me feel well or rough. Uh, which is what I will be doing. Right, so the. the Auto Jumble is on Sunday. It's the good news, it's the 14th of May, my birthday. The bad news about that, this is the bad news, is the forecast is rain. Yeah, damn it. Eh? Forecast is rain. Not good. So this is Monday, a lot of jumbles Sunday, so we can hope that the weather forecast changes. But generally speaking, when the forecast rain like that, it sort of means there's rain around, eh? So you look at it and you just think, well, the rain can sort of shift times or whatever. So, just have to hope. Because horse shit. Uh, that was pretty cool getting the, meeting the horses. Quite like that. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, fuck yeah. Well, what we're going to do is, if it's raining, I'm just going to take the car stuff. I won't take a. The brochures and books and stuff, which is car stuff, but what I mean is I'll take like the panels and the gearbox and you know, the sort of. Oh, look at that lovely cloud! Oh, it's amazing. The white bit and the cl cloud above it. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. Oh, it's just fantastic. I'm looking forward to getting my pizza tonight. Uh, you know what happens is that when I start to do it, what does that say? Gartmorn Farm Woodland Trails, welcome. Doesn't look like Andy's been on that for a while. It looks a bit overgrown. Yeah, so what happens with me is. I get like seriously depressed and um, when I come out for like a walk like this, once I get into it, I start feeling all like, lot, you know, I sort of love the scenery and the, the noises, the birds, even the rain, I mean I actually like rain, which is a bit strange, but the elements, 
Obviously, if it's too wet, it's no good for filming because, well, you have to just wipe it, don't you? Wipe the lens, but it can be tricky. Uh, I just like the colours. Like, so at the moment we're looking at this green and this dark brown grey, touches of blue. Uh, path and trees and water and island and the clouds in the distance brightness dullness I'd say I probably prefer you know this type probably damp wet prefer that it's more atmospheric than, than say like a sunny day so I did the other video I, I'm slightly aware that it's probably going to be a bit boring but it's only a certain type of person that's going to want to to go on a walk because essentially when you watch it you're going on a walk with me uh, whereas like if you go for a drive with me it's more likely that we see people at the side of the road and other cars, trucks, tractors, you know, anything could happen. Whereas here it's, I suppose, limited. It would have been great if met the horses better. They sort of were going in a different way than me. So there's the rain. Uh, I've got tissues. I just... <sighs> And gets clouded up. I have to admit, I'm struggling a bit today. I think it's my leg. For some reason, my right leg is tight. And maybe having these steel toe cap boots is not a very clever idea. That tree has fallen down. I hear we've got the rain. Uh, Oh, there's that wee, um, that's the, what was that again? Uh, Sheriff Yards Colliery. Yeah, it's a colliery, coal. So there must, have, so that means there must be a pit here. Mm, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? That would be interesting to, to actually get in there. No, it wouldn't be interesting because you're going to fall down a fucking pit, aren't you, idiot? There's nothing interesting about that. <sighs> like, having a look through a, a, a mine shaft, you know, would be incredibly dim. Well, anyway, I watched a video about people who. They were. <clears throat> Recovering drug addicts or something Or something like that And they were going out They were getting bonding together And uh, they went <sighs> What do they call it again? Splunking or something Mine, Down in a, a cave Cave exploring So there's one of them up front It was a cave that um, Gets Deeper. This guy fell in 80 feet or some, splatting himself off the side. Right? Uh, so they had to get help. The problem is, they never told anybody they were going there. Uh, dummies. Uh, I would say, dummies. <laughs> so, oh god, they actually did manage to get a rescue team, one of them got out Because I think they found it easy getting in there and then it got cold and everything like that They didn't have the right gear, blah 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 um, So it's just like you think, well, how can that be fun? Like, falling down a cave Full of rocks, stones, and 
how the hell did they, they were really lucky they didn't get killed. Well, one of them. They got rescued. This rescue team had to come from another part of the US or something. You know, so it was like hours and hours and hours. The three of them stuck there with this one screaming down below in pain. Of course, if they're screaming, that means they're still alive, eh? You know that. So, I will not be exploring that. <laughs> the colliery up. Sheriff, was it Sheriff Yard's colliery or something it's called? What if I send it to do with the sheriffs? There's a family. I, I looked at his cottage, it was for sale. And the sheriffs owned it. Uh, I made a joke. Because uh, the other big family around about Tillicut is the Marshalls. So I made a joke. That the sheriffs. Uh, the sheriffs wanted to buy <laughs> Marshalls. <laughs> it's funny. Isn't it? I don't know. Let's get away out up here. There's a car coming. Ooh. Uh, oh. Ah. 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 Ooh. A Ford. So there we are. I would say, I say probably when we get to this house here, or this house, I would probably say halfway, probably. Look at that, that's an amazing view. So it doesn't take a lot of effort to, you know. A wee bit of effort to get over here. It doesn't take a huge amount of effort to, you know, to enjoy the countryside. I had a bit of spare time. You know, there's lots of things I need to be doing at home and all the rest of it. And I'll, fuck it, I'll go up and have a look. I'll go and walk around the dam. you got to think about your health. You know, it's good for your health. Yeah, of course there's stuff I need to do. I need to look at the blue car. Some funny noises come from it. I need to get the Granada sorted out. Uh, look at these skies. I need to... And I, I did the kitchen in the house this morning, so... You know, I need to... Uh, See anything? I need to get a uh, look at that view. I'll try not to, to put my arm too fast. Swing it around so you can see the view. Look. look at that old house. Mm, got a, more cars here than there was last time. Uh, big hedge. Uh, I would say we're halfway. I think we'll call this halfway. Uh, so we've got to go down here and round. I think it's actually long. This side there is more elongated than that side. That side's more straight. What I like is I like these skies. So that's what kind of what I like about the videos. I mean, I used to take a lot of pictures, but now, and the only way I can carry on doing that is by getting another device and taking pictures at the same time, you know, which I probably will do. Yeah. But, because any of these images on the videos, I can get them by watching it on the computer. And then if I wanted to say paint it or draw it, I'd just copy it, just freeze it, copy it and paint it. Uh, which I'm going to be doing soon. I think we should do a series of paintings about Gartmore and the dam. 
Yeah. Because like my cars are always part of my videos as well, probably. So if I was doing like a series of paintings or drawings, a car would be in it. I mean, how else did I get here? You know, if I used a push bike, it'd be in it. But I didn't, so litter. So it's some sh some fur there. No, not fur. It's wool. Dummy. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? It's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So, what we can conclude about humanity is it doesn't change much. I just wipe in your nose. We passed in there. We could just go to the field. There's that. Oh, maybe I'll look into, you know, expanding the walk a bit sometime, maybe. What the hell's that say? I'll, I'll read this and then I'll get my glasses. I never read it the other day. Listen to the birds, look at the flowers, the bushes. Hardy, Hardy's Link. The replacement of this bridge in 2013 was organised by Clackmanshire Riders Access Group in partnership with Clackmanshire Council, funding from the Clackmanshire Environmental Improvement Fund and Community Chest. Well, you know what I think about when I start thinking about chests? Is um, gold a chest with gold in it? The folly of mankind. Mankind is weak. I oh, yeah, you know, there's people going about Christianity and the Bible's a lot of rubbish, and it was brilliant. How misled have we all become that we've decided we don't believe? All that stuff, and it's all for our own benefit. And if I say that, it sounds really uncool. And all my peer group will go, oh, You've really lost it this time. Because we, when we were younger, we thought it was all rubbish. But look, now I believe. <laughs> I'll, everybody will be switching off the video at this point. I truly believe. You get to a certain age, you actually start to realise how lucky you are to still be alive. And the opportunity to do these fantastic walks like this. Sometimes I go on about personal stuff in the walks, yeah. I probably shouldn't do that. I mean, it all depends. Somebody will, someday somebody will go, Hey you, ah, right. <laughs> I realise you're talking about me. <laughs> so I do apologise. I like, say, like, if I'm talking about my brother, well, technically I've only got one. I've actually got two, but that's not been proven. Clark Manning via Lynn Mill. All right, so I guess the Clark Manning. Huh. Yeah. It's a bit tricky, like, if you take your car somewhere, It's that's why these... Like, a walk like this is just fantastic, because you could do it in an hour, this one, and you can walk a circle. You know, so you can go back a bit. It's nice to be able to go circular. You don't have to retrace your steps. It just makes it interesting. You know? um, It's hard. It's hard. You can't be responsible for anyone else. 
We've got your cell to look after. I just started thinking about my friend and how her health and how she's allowing her. She's deliberately got her health to go downhill. It's, I think some of it's in your DNA. Uh, you know, like, the sort of, your life is mapped out to a certain extent. Uh, so when it's time to go, you've got to be prepared to go and just go. Fantastic, there's that farm up there. I did take a photograph of Garden Arm Farm, it's called. Viewpoint, there's a viewpoint up there. See, I'm getting to know the place. The viewpoint. What we'll do is we'll do that some one of the next times. That's where the house was, where the car was coming up. Up there. What I'll do the next time is I'll take a picnic. Um, I'll, I'll pack a picnic and we'll go up to that viewpoint and have a cup of coffee or tea and a sandwich. That's what we'll do. That'd be nice. So when you're young you think life's forever, don't you? And you think everything's in the moment. And then it's like you get older and you go, oh what happened? <laughs> and it's still like you still get like some people you went to school with. Like I've got some people that I've talked to now and again on the internet and Facebook. And I suppose we just we're the lucky ones that are still going. So there's, I suppose there's an element of, because I did a weird thing, I changed my name and everything and changed my, you know, changed my, what you call it, I didn't like saying it. Uh, but I went his pal, went to school with and he doesn't seem to care, so, so it's fine. Talk to him, now and again about cars and that. Uh, so that'll be interesting to go up there sometime. Well, I'll have a look at the. I'll have a look at it from a, in Google and s maybe because at the moment I've not exactly got a lot of time now. Uh, so this is just like an hour's walk. I don't want to go way up there and then turn it. Up. So I'm really this. This is to see how long it takes to go around this way. I've stopped and looked at things, but not really for long. It's not like I've spent hours. Uh, I probably did the same. Another walk when I walked anti clockwise, this is clockwise. Uh, what insects? Oh, in my eyes and nose and mouth. Uh, Oh my god, there's the rain. There's the rain. The phone's gonna get wet. Could ruin this video. I'm really aiming to get back to the car and then probably video the ducks and the swans. Uh, uh. And then I'm going to head home. Head for the hills. There is a bit of a choice up here. The path goes up the side of the river. It's this one here. So I think it's. Is it this one? No. Is it that one or. No, is it?
Oh, maybe it is. Oh, I hope so. Hope I've not made a mistake. I'm not falling in the river. It's not a river. It's a reservoir. Doesn't look like the path comes to an end, does it? Ooh. I think I've made a mistake. Yes, I definitely have. Definitely made a mistake. Ah, look, we've caught up with the path. It's got to be, it's got to make sense. I mean, the path's up there, right? So I've just came down by the side of the water. What happens is, when people stop using or going out and about, sometimes paths can get reclaimed by nature. Uh, is what happens. But it makes sense, because the, the bit does go alongside the rest of our soul. Can of be. I have made an arse thing sometimes and I've landed up, you know, say like going somewhere it's just too difficult to walk. I have done that before. Ugh. Oh, look at that. God, that's amazing. Yeah, fucking trees falling in. Fucking hell. Look at that. Fucking huge mushroom. Yes, made a mistake. Cocked it up. I think I'll get back to the path over there. There's a path there. What oh, a dummy. That's costing me time. It's cost time. Oh dear, that was a mistake, wasn't it? You fool. It's a bit of a clearing here. People have been walking down here. See? See it there? Right. That was a mistake. A time wasting mistake. I think it was probably because that tree's got blown over. Uh, which. Uh, which, uh meant that I had to kind of veer away from the side of the reservoir so, so I'll be walking down there That could have cost me about five minutes I think Probably As one can see
it is raining. I've got a jaggy thing in my leg now. It's probably in my trousers. So, note to self, don't go down that way. And the rain is not helping. No, nope. it is not helping. Oh. Jeez, I'm actually starting to feel sweaty and everything. Wet and damp. Hey, can you see the dangers of, of caving? You know, if you're doing a cave and you get a choice, look at that, that tree, and you take the wrong turn and you lose your life. You know? I wonder what camping would be like up here. I mean, would you get scared at night? It's the unknown, even though we don't... Like, this is our thing about the lunacy of the greens. They want to reintroduce... Um, Dangerous animals, you know. They are off their fucking heads, these people. You know? Like, it's like the theory of it all. It's like humans are bad, you know. It's, it's, a, it's a weird thing where they don't like us, they don't like their own species. And so they need to be ignored, and they're not being ignored. It's a problem. They've got power, some kind of power. So if you meet one, punch fuck out of them. <laughs> That's not good advice. Well, tell them they're talking shit. And they're a disgrace to humanity. Yeah, it's a strange, strange thing, isn't it? I don't know what's happened to me, but I've got something sticking in my back, up my leg, like a little thorn or something. And it's annoying. swans over there that's the island isn't it that bit where the swans are yeah it's quite a big island Anybody that's interested will be able to enjoy or look at this and see maybe if you're not capable or you're not you don't have the time or you're not well or something you can watch this and you can get to see what it's like to walk around Gar Morn Dam This is the choice. 
So what I'll do is I'll do it the way I did it the other day. So you go that way or this way. So this is the way that I came the last time. So we'll just keep it the same. The only mistake I made obviously was going off track back there. Yeah. Which probably cost like five minutes. You can go down there as well, but this gets you a better view up here. Love the memory of Brian, gorgeous shepherd, so I miss my old family and friends. Brian Shepherd, without the H, gorgeous. Go mm, some nickname, that. Alright, Brian, may you rest in peace. That'd be a difficult name to look up. There'll be billions of brown shepherds. Look at them ducks, amazing. I wouldn't mind going in that river, and stop calling it a river. I'd like to go in there. <laughs> so I was thinking yeah, I've got a Granada going now for Granada, so, so I'd like to film it. So I had this idea that I'd go up to the bridge and fly over and put my phone <laughs> like in this location and then go down and drive down the motorway and then back around again. So what's the chances of somebody finding it? Well and then all the while because all the while that that I'm not in it, right? Because I'm only gonna be in it briefly, it'll be filming the traffic. I think you could do it if you Sort of placed it down a bit from the bridge. And if you could get down the side a bit, down the side of the parapet, because nobody's going to go down there. Like, I, well, I'm thinking about up at Ban uh, the M9. Uh, I got it wrong there, I was calling it the M80, it's the M9. Uh, go up there and you know, obviously drive up with the car, set up the phone, switch it on, get in the car, go up to the Bannock Burn Interchange, down the motorway, flash your headlights at the, uh, at the flyover, then you have to go all the way down, you know, to the, quite far actually, down the, Craig Forth. I think it's called Craig Forth. I think it is, I can't remember. Go down there and come back up again. Then come off. Come off and then go and get the phone. I wonder what sort of video that would make. <laughs> but you'd see, you have it set up so you can see the traffic. Trucks and so. It's like sort of thing of being on your own. You know. But I find it really strange, like, so, I like doing it, and <laughs> doing it on my own. I don't feel confident to make videos with somebody else, if that makes sense. I, I feel embarrassed about it. It's, it's a strange thing. Like, to let myself go and just be me, I need to be on my own. And, and make the videos on my own. Which is difficult because if you have somebody with you, you can get them to video you, can't you? Uh, 
Uh, I'll read them some other time. Bit difficult to read. So when you're dead, somebody goes and gets a bench made up with your name on it. So I find the whole de the death thing a bit vacuous, so because I've ostracised from my relatives, um, I'll be sort of criticised for lots of things. But because I don't go and visit the dead ones, well, in fact, I do actually. It's usually like ones I've never met. You know, when you travel around graveyards to find great great grandparents and stuff. I've done that. But I don't see the point in this very fake sort of thing. You know, like. Like, I haven't visited my parents' grave, for example, right? Well, I did after they were buried. I was there at the burial. But it doesn't mean to say. Brian McWilliams. Dangerous. 64 to 15. Brian McWilliams. Ah, I've lived longer than you, Brian. 64 to 15. Um, my fucking counting's shit, isn't it? 64. The 15, that's 45 plus 6, 51, so I beat you Brian, I'm 57, no I'm not, I'm 56, yeah I don't even know how old I am, so I'm very sorry Brian, I hope you rest in peace, Brian McWilliams, a fantastic name, good old Scottish name. Rest in peace, Brian McWilliams. When you see that island, it looks like small from here, but when you see it on the side, so it must be sort of long. Joyce Mackay, Charles Elizabeth Patterson. I love the hills with lift my I to the hills will lift mine eyes. Rest in peace, um, Charles and Elizabeth and Joyce. And the ducks don't give a fuck. I couldn't help but say that, it, it rhymes. The ducks don't give a fuck. I think that's what we'll call this video. Bob Kinghorn, 44 to 2018. 44 to 2018. Uh, 50, 68 plus 6. 74. 74 years old. Uh, oh, it's a plane. Oh, look at that island, it's brilliant. Oh. Oh. Ah. Some fish in man. It's good, brilliant. I love it. Fantastic place. Mark and Mary Taylor, I live on the family too. So it's like the fisher people. It's generally men that do fishing. Uh, it's because they. Well, that's that same van that was there the other day, that transit van. That would be that guy. Him there. Another one that was walking past me. Um, Dax! Crack, crack! Crack, 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 crack! Swan's happy! Uh, 
And I'm just going to wind up the video and get the car open and say bye bye once we get in the car. And we'll see how long it took. What we'll do is we'll put that there. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. I'm feeling a bit damp, but this has been lovely. So, thanks for watching. Please come and have a look at this place yourself. Look at these swans, fantastic. So, we'll get in the can. We'll see. Oh, there's an angry duck. This is dead on. I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> quack, quack. There's a uh, the cowy and we over there. Died swans. That's where we walked from there. Oh, jeez. Thanks for watching. Bye.